thanks for joining me for some yoga this morning. Um, before we get started, we are going to use a few props today. So I have um, a couple yoga blocks. Um, if you don't have yoga blocks at home, you can use anything that will bring the floor slightly closer to you. So I've heard of people using like the rectangular tissue boxes, um, if you have a large book, a small box, uh, anything like that. Um, if you don't have one, I will cue how to use one, but I would suggest trying to find, like even if you have like a step stool, um, anything that'll just, you know, again, bring the floor slightly closer to you uh, will be handy. Um, otherwise, we're also going to use a strap. Um, so I have a yoga strap here, but you can use a belt, you could use the tie to your bathrobe, you could use a towel, um, a sweater, all kinds of things for a strap if you don't have one. So we're gonna start on our backs. Have your strap or whatever you're using close by. And just come onto your back, find a comfortable position. Let's start with our feet um, slightly wider than hips distance apart and then knees coming into touch. Hands just down by your side. You can close your eyes and just gently bring your awareness to your breath. Take a nice deep inhale through your nose. And exhale, sigh it out your mouth. Again, nice deep inhale. And exhale, sigh it out. One more, just like that. Nice deep inhale through your nose. Exhale, sigh it out your mouth. Time breathing in nice and deep and exhale out your nose, getting out all the air that's trapped down in your lungs. Get a nice deep inhale through your nose and exhale out your nose. This time as you inhale, see if you can feel the air move into your belly, your chest, and then your throat. And then as you exhale, think of it first coming from your throat then your chest and your belly. Again, inhale, belly, chest, throat. Exhale from your throat, chest, belly. This is a three-part breath. Nice deep inhale, belly, chest, throat. Exhale, throat, chest, belly. One more time, inhale, belly, chest, throat. Exhale, throat chest, belly. Continue to breathe just naturally in and out your nose. Notice how this feels. Maybe your breaths have gotten a little longer. On your next inhale, hug your knees into your chest. Gently rock from side to side. And then extend your left leg down your mat. Engaging your muscles here. So flexing your foot like you were going to stand on the wall in front of you. Toes and knees pointing up toward the sky. Inner left thigh coming down towards the floor. Tailbone lengthening towards the back of your heels. Inhale your left knee in. And exhale your right leg down your mat. Toes and knees pointing down to the sky. Inner thigh dropping down towards the floor. Tailbone lengthening down. Inhale your right knee into your chest. And exhale, sit both feet down on the floor about hips distance apart, parallel to each other. So your heel is right behind your second toe. Clasp the outer edges of your mat with your hands and think of walking your shoulder blades under. So you're pressing down through the outer edges of your arms. Exhale here, inhale, press through your feet into your arms, lift your hips up. Lengthen your tailbone towards the backs of your knees as your inner thighs spin down. Lifting your low back ribs away from your sacrum as you broaden across your collarbone. Thinking of your shoulder blades moving forward slightly into your rib cage. And exhale, lowering your hips back down to the floor. And again, inhale, pressing into your feet, hips lift. Pressing down to the backs of your arms. Breathing here. And exhale, lowering your hips down to the floor. Inhale, hips lift. 
pressing into your feet, buttocks slash moving towards the backs of your knees. It's almost like you were going to tip your pelvis like forward and up, your front hip points moving toward your low ribs, making space across your low back. And exhale, lowering it down. Gently uh, rock your knees from side to side, just releasing your low back, not hugging them into your chest yet for a twist. All right, hugging your knees in. Release your left foot to the floor. We're gonna take our strap or whatever you're using and wrap it around the ball of your right foot. And then straighten your leg so that your heel is pointing up towards the ceiling. Now we're just warming up here, so it's a nice, nice little gentle stretch. We're not coming to you know, our max, but just beginning to feel that opening in our hamstrings. If you don't have a strap, you can just hold your leg wherever you reach. Inhale here, taking your straps in your right hand, and exhale, externally rotate that leg and let it open up out to the right, keeping your left hip on the floor. We're keeping our left foot grounded here as well, so we're not yet straightening that leg down. Inhale, your leg back up through the center. And then exhale, release your right foot, bring it down to meet the left. Other side, uh, wrapping your strap around your left foot, reaching your foot up towards the sky, heel reaching up towards the ceiling, taking your strap in both hands. This knee can be as bent as you need it to be. We just want to begin to feel that opening in the back of your leg. Again, maybe at like 80% of where you can go. Taking both sides of your strap into your left hand and exhale, externally rotate your leg and then allow it to fall out to the side. Gently keeping your right hip grounded, that right foot down to the floor. Inhale your leg back up through center. Release your strap and just sit it down to the side. Extend both legs up towards the ceiling, flexing your feet, engaging your, your legs here so they're not just hanging out up there, but they're engaged. Inhale here, exhale, lift your chest, shoulders, and head off the floor. Hands can just come behind, beside your hips, palms can face in. Inhale here, exhale, lower your left leg towards the floor. Inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, right leg down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, left leg. Inhale, lift. Exhale, right leg. Inhale, lift. Exhale, left leg. Inhale, lift. Exhale, right leg. Inhale, lift. One more time here. Exhale, left leg down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, right leg. Inhale, lift. Hug it in, in, knees to your chest. Gently rock from side to side. Beginning to rock forward and back. So from your tailbone to your shoulders. For four, three, two, and then we'll meet on all fours. So coming up and over or stepping your legs around. All fours. Wrists underneath shoulders, knees under hips. We'll take a few cat cow poses here. Wrist creases parallel or slightly turned out to the front edge of our mat. Inhale, belly button drops, collarbone broadens, tailbone lifts towards the sky. And exhale, chin to chest, belly button to spine, lengthening your tailbone towards the backs of your knees, pressing down through your hands, down through the tops of your feet. Inhale. Final extension here. And exhale, belly button to spine, tailbone lengthening down, spinal flexion. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. One more round. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Inhale back to 
to a neutral spine. Exhale, hold. Inhale, your right hand up to the sky. And exhale, thread your right arm under your left, bringing your right shoulder, your right temple down towards the floor. Hips still right over top of your knees, tops of your feet down to the floor. You can walk that left hand forward if that feels okay on your neck. Just breathe here. On your exhale, if your hand's extended, walk it back under your shoulder. And inhale, press through that left hand. Right hand comes up towards the sky. Exhale, right hand comes down right under your shoulder. Other side, inhale, left hand towards the sky. And exhale, threaten it under your right arm. Left shoulder, left temple come down to meet the mat. Hips still right over your knees, tops of your feet down. If you would like, if it feels okay on your neck and your shoulder, you can walk that right hand forward. your right hand back under your shoulder inhale left hand reaches up towards the sky pressing down through your right hand exhale left hand back to the uh, the floor walking your hands out maybe one hand length let's step our feet behind us into plank pose feet hips distance apart hands right underneath of your shoulders front hip points lifting towards your low ribs as your thighs press up broadening across your collarbone looking forward about a foot or so in front of your hands Inhale here, hinging forward slightly. Exhale, lowering all the way down to the floor. Outer upper arms wrapping in towards your ribs. Inhale, baby cobra, chest, shoulders lift, pressing down to the tops of our feet, thighs lifting up, tailbone lengthening back. Exhale, lower down. And again, baby cobra, inhale, chest, shoulders lift, low ribs staying on the floor. Exhale down. Last one, moving with our breath. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, lowering down. Curling our toes under, pressing down into the balls of our feet, pressing our thighs up, tailbone lengthening back. Exhale here, inhale, upward facing dog on the balls of our feet. So wrists right underneath our shoulders, broadening across your collarbone, lifting your tailbone, or lengthening your tailbone back, lifting your front hip points up towards your low ribs. Pressing down through your thumbs as your outer upper arms wrap in. One more breath. Lifting from your inner thighs, pressing through your hands, coming up and back, downward facing dog. Hands are still shoulder distance apart, feet are hips distance apart. Reaching your heels back right up behind your second toe. A little bend in your knees so you can lift your pelvis up. Inner thighs wrapping in and back. Outer upper arms wrapping in as you press down through your hands, lift up through your forearms. Exhale here. Inhale, walking your hands back to meet your feet in a forward fold, Uttanasana at the back of the mat. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, lengthening the crown of your head forward, both sides of your rib cage, reaching forward evenly. Exhale, lower down. Again, inhale. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, lower down. Last one. Inhale, collarbone broadens, shoulder blades gently pull together. Exhale, lower down, walking your hands out. Plank pose. Inhale here. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Right foot steps towards the inside of your right hand. Pause here. Pressing down to that right foot. Outer hips hugging in. Broadening across your collarbone. Almost like your Ardha Uttanasana here. Exhale, left foot steps forward to meet the right. 
Inhale, arms forward and up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold, right foot steps back. Broadening across your collarbone, outer hips hugging in, shoulder blades gently coming together. Stepping your left foot back, plank. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, hips up and back, Downward Facing Dog. One more breath here. The bottom of your exhale, look towards your hands, walk, step, or float your feet up. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms forward and up, Urdhva Hastasana. And exhale right away, Uttanasana forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, stepping your right foot back, then your left. Inhale, hold, exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, hips up and back, Downward Facing Dog. Right away, our right foot steps forward to the inside of our right thumb. Let's set your left knee down to the floor, left hand right underneath of your shoulder. Inhale, right hand reaches to the sky, twisting towards our right leg, right hip hugging in. Exhale, unwind, step it back, downward facing dog. Left foot steps forward, right knees come down to the ground, outer left hip hugs in, right wrist right underneath of our right shoulder. Inhale, left hand reaches towards the sky, twist. Exhale, unwind. Downward facing dog. Inhale, hinge forward, plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Pressing down through your hands, lifting up through your forearms. Triceps wrapping in, like you're closing off your armpits. The bottom of your exhale, looking towards your hands, walk, step, or float your feet up. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms forward and up, Urdhva Hastasana. And exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, left foot steps back behind you. We're going to spin that left heel down, right heel lined up, heel to arch here. Inhale, arms up to a T, shoulders squared toward the long edge of your mat, warrior two. Pressing down evenly through all four corners of that front foot as your inner right thigh reaches up and over so that your right knee is tracking right over top of your second toe. Pressing down to the outer edge of your back foot so that your inner thigh, inner back left thigh can spin in. Can gaze out over your right fingertips Right glute cheek wrapping under. Breathing here. Exhale here. Inhale, left hand to left leg, reverse warrior. Keeping that right knee bent right over top of your ankle, but finding space through your right side body. On your next inhale, straightening through that right leg. Exhale, hold. Inhale, arms come back out to a T. Exhale, reaching your right hand towards the right, hips towards the left, coming down into Trikonasana Triangle Pose. Breathing here. Pressing down to the ball mount of your right foot as you lift up on your right, right quadricep and your right glute cheek wraps under. Pressing through the outer edge of your left foot. Inner left thigh spins in. Bottom right ribs reaching forward. So that there's equal space on both sides of your torso. You can look up at your left hand if that feels okay on your neck. But that hand is right over top of your shoulder. Sometimes we have a tendency of bringing our arm way back behind us, trying to make this slight twist coming from our arm and not from our torso. Exhale, look down towards your right foot 
and inhale back up, warrior two. Exhale, hands come down to frame either side of that left foot. Stepping your right foot back behind you, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. The bottom of your exhale, look towards your hands, walk, step and float your feet up. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms forward and up, Ardha Hastasana. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold, right foot steps to the back of the mat. Spinning your right heel down, line up, heel to arch, left heel to right arch. Inhale up, warrior two. Pressing down to the outer edge of your right foot, foot so that that whole right leg can spin in. Shoulders square toward the long edge of your mat, lifting up from both sides of your ribs. You can gaze out over your left fingertips. Breathing here. One more breath. Exhale here, inhale reverse warrior, right hand to right leg, left hand reaches up, tailbone still lengthening down, front knee still bent over top of that left ankle. Inhale, press down through your left foot, straightening your left leg. Inhale, back up to a T. Sorry. <laughs> Exhale, reaching your left hand forward, coming into Trikonasana. Hips move to the right. That left hand comes to the inside or outside of that front leg. The whole back leg is still spinning in. Your left blue cheek is hugging in and wrapping under. Finding space. Both sides of your torso, again, that top hand right up from your shoulder. You can look up to your right hand, pressing down through the ball of your left foot a little bit more. Exhale, looking down towards your left hand, inhale up, warrior two, and pause. Exhale, hands come down to frame your left foot, stepping your left foot back. Inhale, holding a plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog, and pause here. The bottom of your exhale, look towards your hands. Walk, step, or float your feet up. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms forward and up. Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to your side. Tadasana Mountain Pose. Let's come to face the wide edge of our mat. Go ahead and grab your strap or whatever you're using. Stepping your feet wide, we want them parallel to each other and parallel to the outer edges of our mat. And approximately one leg's length apart or you can imagine that your heels are right underneath of your wrists when you hold your arms out to a T. So we're gonna do a forward fold here. Um, the first one we're gonna do, we're gonna hold our strap behind our back. Even if you can clasp your hands, let's just start just holding our strap because we're gonna do this a couple times. So standing up nice and tall, pressing down evenly through all four corners of your feet, holding your strap in both hands behind your back. Inhale, pressing down through your feet, lifting up through your quads, Exhale, hinge forward, making space through your spine as you do this. Arms come up and older, over, holding your strap. Weight comes a little more forward into the balls of your feet so that your outer hips can stay over top of your ankles. Still lifting up on your quads, thinking of your sits bones moving together to protect your hamstrings. So we're not just going to our max wherever we can stretch, but we're containing it with muscle engagement. Breathing here. One more breath. Inhale, pressing down through your feet, lifting up through your quads, beginning to come up to stand. Release your strap. You can put it down to the floor. Heel toe your feet back together. 
and come up to the top of your mat. So that's a mountain pose. Inhale your arms forward and up, and exhale, hips sink back, Utkatasana, chair pose. Weight a little more into your heels. Arms are straight in front of you, palms facing together, outer arms, outer upper arms wrapping in. Inner thighs rolling in and back, keeping our knees from splaying out to the side. Front hip points lifting up and away from our thigh bones, outer hips really hugging in. Let's hold this for two more breaths. Maybe you can sink a little deeper. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, meeting in downward dog. So you can float through your vinyasa, chaturanga, cobra or upward facing dog. Hips up and back. Anytime that we cue that vinyasa, the chaturanga, up dog, down dog, um, you can always skip it and just meet us here in downward facing dog. So inhale your right leg up and back, three legged dog. Right to hip height, outer hips hugging in, maintaining equal space through both sides of our torso. Exhale, step your right foot up to the inside of your right hand. A little bend in that back knee, reaching your left heel back. Inhale, arms forward and up, high lunge. So we keep a little bend in that back knee so that we can lengthen our tailbone down and lift our front hip points up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale here and exhale, pressing down through your feet, keeping your hips hugged in, twist towards the right. So nothing changed in our lower body. We're not hinging forward, still a little bend in that back knee, so we're lengthening our tailbone down, lifting our front hip points up, keeping our low back nice and safe. One more breath here. Inhale, unwind, sitting our hands down to the floor. We're gonna take another twist here before we step it back. So. Press down through your feet, all four corners of that front foot, pressing down through the ball of the back foot. This time our back leg is straight, so our quad is pressing up towards the sky. Left hand's gonna come to the floor right behind, under our left shoulder, and inhale, right hand towards the sky. Pressing down to the big toe mound of our right foot as our right thigh lifts up and over, right inner thigh up and over. So just keeping that knee from collapsing inwards. Exhale, unwind. Step it back, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Pausing here. Inhale, left leg up and back, three-legged dog. Right to hip height, like you were going to stand on the wall behind you. Toes and knees pointing down towards the floor, outer hips really hugging in here. Exhale, knee to nose, sitting your left foot down to the inside of your left thumb. Reaching your right heel back, here we're on railroad tracks here, so our feet are hips distance apart, pressing down through our right foot. Inhale, arms forward and up, a little bend in that back knee. High lunge, Anjani Asana. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale here, hugging your outer hips in so the legs don't change. Exhale, twisting towards the right. The twist is coming from like our spine, like kind of our waist here, not from our low back. We gotta keep our front hip points lifting up. One more breath here. Inhale, unwind. Exhale, hands down to the floor. Reaching that back heel back, pressing that right thigh up into our thigh bone. Keeping that left hip hugging in. Right hand's gonna come underneath of our right shoulder. Inhale, 
left hand towards the sky. Left hip hugging in, inner left thigh, thinking of it coming up and over that leg. Again, keeping our knee from collapsing in, keeping our right thigh engaged, pressing our uh, thigh up towards the sky. Exhale, unwind, stepping your left foot back, option, chaturanga, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, hips up and back, downward dog. The bottom of your exhale, looking towards your hands, walk, step, float your feet up, inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms forward and up. Utkatasana, chair pose. Hips sink back just for a moment. Inner thighs spinning in. Outer hips hugging in. Inhale, stand all the way up. Exhale, hands to your side. Tadasana, mountain pose. All right. We are going to uh, do Parjvottanasana. So grab your blocks or block-like objects such as a stool, book, tissue box, um, and let's put them on either side of your feet, just standing in Tadasana to begin with. Hands uh, at our hips initially. Pausing here in Tadasana for a moment, let's just take a nice deep breath. All right, let's step our um, left foot back about three feet. So our feet are still on railroad tracks here, so their hips isn't apart, but spread out. Um, our back left toes are pointing up towards the like left top corner of our mat, but you're pressing down through the outer edge of that left foot, inner left thigh, spinning in, outer hips really hugging in here, pressing down through the ball of our right foot and lifting up on that right quadricep. So our front hip points lifting up. Inhale here and exhale, hinge forward. Begin to feel your pelvis tilting forward and then bring your hands down to the blocks. We don't want to like put a ton of weight down into the block so we're not like pressing down here but our hands are just lightly coming here. If you don't have blocks you can keep your hands to your hips and gently or gently let them rest wherever they reach on this front leg. Just be careful that you're not putting pressure on that leg. We don't want to hyperextend. So reaching out through the crown of your head forward thinking of both sides of your rib cage moving forward. Outer hips really hugging in that back thighs engage, pressing down through the big toe ball mound of this left, or right foot, excuse me, as your right hip crease pulls back. One more breath here. Pressing down through that right foot, put your hands onto your hips, elbows pointing up towards the sky, and come up to stand. We'll just do the other side. So step your left foot forward, right foot back again about three feet, feet hips distance apart. Pressing through the outer edge of that right foot as your inner right thigh spins back. Pressing down through the ball of your left foot as your left quad lifts up. Front hip points lifting up and away, standing up nice and tall. Pressing down through your feet, exhale, feeling your pelvis hinge forward, lengthening the crown of your head forward, both sides of your torso moving forward. Hands can come down to blocks or to your thigh, wherever they can reach. But still thinking of your legs working here. So again, not just coming into like the max stretch, but keeping it contained, keeping our muscles engaged. Pressing down through the ball of our left foot as our left hip crease gently pulls back. One more breath here. Hands come to our hips, elbows pointing up towards the sky, press down through your feet, inhale, come up. Go ahead, step your right foot forward to meet the left. Let's move our blocks um, up to the top of our mat. Tadasana Mountain Pose. Inhale, arms forward and up. Urdhva Stasana. Exhale, hips sink back. Upatasana. 
Inhale here, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, we'll meet in downward facing dog. Or exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra, upward facing dog. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Pausing here for about three breaths. Step your right foot up to the inside of your right hand. Spin your left foot down. So your feet are still hips distance apart here, pressing down to the outer edge of your left foot and your left thigh spins in. Go ahead, grab your mat and inhale up to stand. Pressing down through all four corners of that front foot, inner right thigh spins up and over to the right. Front hip points lifting up towards your low ribs. Again, making space across your low back. We're gonna take our strap in our hands behind our back, just like we did for our forward fold earlier. Inhale, stand up nice and tall, and exhale, humble warrior. Think of lengthening the crown of your head forward, your torso moves forward, as your torso comes just to the inside of that right foot as your arms come up and over. Outer right hip hugs in. So we're not letting it fall out to the side. Again, keeping it contained. And we're not just letting our torso lean on that front leg either. One more breath. Inhale, come back up to stand. You can just drop your uh, belt there. Inhale, arms forward and up. Inhale here, exhale, heel toe your right foot over towards the left. Your back foot heel toes out once to make your stance taller and your shoulders square towards the long edge of your mat, coming into warrior two. One more breath here. And exhale, hands come down to frame your right foot, option to flow through your vinyasa or skip it. Three breaths here in Downward Facing Dog. Exhale here. Inhale. Exhale, left foot steps up to the inside of your left thumb. Right heel spins down. Feet are still hips distance apart. Again, grabbing your strap, pressing down to the outer edge of your right foot, inner right thigh spins in. Inhale, come up to stand, warrior one. Outer uh, left hip really hugging in as that inner right thigh spins up, front hip points lifting up, table lengthening down. Again, protecting our low back here. That front knee right over top of our ankle. Go ahead and grab your strap behind your back again. Inhale, stand up nice and tall. And exhale, hinge forward, lengthening the crown of your head forward. Torso lengthens forward, arms come up and over. Making space through your spine here, keeping your legs engaged. One more breath here. Inhale, back up to warrior one. Dropping your belt, arms come forward and up. Exhale, right foot, heel, or excuse me, left foot, heel toes to the midline. Right foot, heel toes back to widen your stance. Arms come out to a T. Pressing down to the outer edge of that back foot, inner back thigh spins in. Virabhadrasana two. One more breath. Exhale, hands come down to frame that left foot. Step it back, chaturanga. Cobra, upward facing dog. Exhale, hips up 
facing back, downward facing dog. From here in our downward facing dog, we're gonna come into dolphin. So a few options. You can lower your elbows one at a time, or you can press down through your hands, outer upper arms wrapping in, and nice and controlled, place your forearms down to the floor, dolphin pose. So your other option would be, again, one arm, the other arm. See if you can do it with as little fuss as possible. So keeping your hips from wiggling from side to side. Pressing down through your forearms, outer upper arms, your triceps really have to wrap in here as you make space across your back. Pressing down through your feet, inner thighs, lifting up and back. One more breath. And then pressing into your hands, see if you can lift your elbows up. Downward facing dog. Bottom of your exhale, looking towards your hands. Walk, step, or float your feet up. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms forward and up, Ardha Hastasana. Exhale, Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Let's come back to face the wide edge of our mat. Again, stepping our feet wide. So this time, we're gonna interlace our hands behind our back. So just like you're holding hands with somebody, but behind your back. Um, if that feels like it's too much, or you can't get your hands and your wrists together, go ahead and grab your strap again and hold it just like we did the first few times that we did a forward fold like this. So, pressing down through our feet, quads lifting up, hip points lifting up, tailbone lengthening down, nice and strong, interlacing your hands behind your back. Inhale here and exhale, hinge forward from your hips, weight comes a little more forward into the balls of your feet, reaching forward, and then that will bring you down arms up and over. One more breath here. And then slowly exhale, release your hands down to the mat. Bringing your hands to your hips, elbows pointing out towards the sky, pressing down through your feet, looking up through your quads, and inhale, come back up to stand. Heel toe your feet back together, and then come to the top of your mat. All right, so we are going to bring one of our blocks um, just in front of your toes this time. Well, we just want it to be able to grab it when we need it. So. Throughout our practice, we've talked about like containing our muscle engagement when we're in our stretch. So again, not just coming to the full extent of however far we can stretch, but protecting our ligaments and our muscles by having the muscle engagement and containment there. So we're gonna move into this next pose really slowly, even though maybe you know exactly where we're going and we're gonna go there and we can do it, but we're gonna move step by step so we can keep the containment. So standing up nice and tall, inhale here, Exhale, inhale, arms forward and up. Exhale, forward fold. From here, step your left foot back about three feet. Whole foot comes down to the floor. Uh, slightly turned out, whole leg towards the left. So maybe pointing up towards the left top corner of your mat. We're gonna press down to the outer edge of that foot. Inner thigh spinning in. We're gonna place our block right to the inside of our right foot. Pressing your left hand uh, on that block. So pressing down through the big toe mound of your right foot, think of your right hip crease moving back and away from that foot. Outer hips hugging in. So let's place our right hand to our right hip. Think of lengthening your spine here, the crown of your head and your torso, your ribs, moving forward evenly. Exhale here and inhale, slowly begin to just twist 
from your shoulder, moving your shoulder back, pressing down through that right hand, and pause. Inhale, finding containment, pressing down through your big toe mound, hips hugging in. And exhale, twisting a little bit further. Inhale again, pressing down through your feet, lifting up through your quads, hips hugging in. And exhale, twisting a little bit further. Crown of your head reaching forward, finding the muscle engagement. Maybe on this final inhale, reaching that right hand up towards the sky. Again, right above our shoulder, so it's not coming way behind us. So the twist is coming from our torso, not from our arm. One more breath here. Exhale, right hand comes back to our right hip. Inhale, exhale, unwind. Go ahead, step your left foot back up to meet the right. And pause for a more moment in a forward fold. Maybe clasp opposite elbows, gently sway from side to side. All right, other side, we're gonna step our right foot back about three feet. Whole foot comes down to the floor. Whole leg is spinning out slightly, so it's pointing up towards the top right corner of our mat. Our block is gonna come to the inside of our left foot. So pressing down through the ball of our left foot, lifting up on our left quad, left hip crease, moving back slightly as that hip hugs in. Pressing down to the outer edge of our right foot, inner right thigh spins in left hand to left hip. Inhale, finding length through your spine, reaching the crown of your head off four sides of your torso, reaching forward evenly. And exhale, think of finding that twist just from your shoulder first. Inhale, hips hugging in, quads lifting up. Exhale, twisting a little bit further. Inhale, finding length through your spine. And exhale, twisting a little bit further. Outer hips still hugging in, quads lifting up. Exhale here. Inhale, maybe your left hand reaches up towards the sky. Breathing here. One more breath. Exhale, hand comes back down to your hip. Inhale. Exhale unwind, putting your block out of the way, stepping your right foot forward, forward fold. Stepping your feet back, downward facing dog. Breathing here, two more breaths. Bringing your knees gently down to the floor. Find child's pose. Inhale, walking your hands in. And then gently swing your legs out and around to the front. Sitting up nice and tall here. Um, let's bring our left knee in. So bend your left knee and then externally rotate that leg so that the ball of your left foot comes to the inside of your right leg. Sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna exhale, hinging forward from your hips. So you might not go very far. It might only be a few inches and that's okay but we're holding forward, thinking of finding length and like our nose is going towards like our pinky toe. One more breath here. Inhale, come back up to a seated position. Use your hand to bring your knee back up to the midline. Few options here. 
You can stay right here with your left foot to the inside of your right leg. Or you can step that left foot over top of your right. As long as you can keep both sits bones, the bony protrusions at the bottom of your bum, connected to the floor. Um, third option, again, same condition if your sits bones are still on the floor, you can bring that right foot in by your left hip and be here. So we're going to inhale, sitting up nice and tall, and then exhale, twisting towards the left. So bringing that right arm to your left knee, and then your left hand just comes behind you like a little kickstand. Finding length through your spine. Exhale, maybe you can look back over that shoulder. And that's if that doesn't cause any pain or discomfort in your neck or stress in your mind. That's just as important. One more breath. And inhale, unwind. Extend your right foot and then bring your left foot back to the inside of your right. Sit up nice and tall. We're going to bend our right knee, bringing our right foot to the inside of our left leg, and then externally rotating it gently, uh, allowing our knee to open out to the side. Foot comes to the inside of our left thigh. Sitting up nice and tall. Exhale, beginning to hinge forward from your hips over that left leg. Again, your nose is pointing towards your pinky toe. Inhale, coming back up to a seated position. Use your hand to bring your right knee back um, to neutral. So your right foot can sit to the inside of your left leg. You can bring your right foot up and over the left, or you can bring your left foot in by your right hip. Again, sits bones should be in complete contact on the floor, whichever option you choose. Sitting up nice and tall, inhale here, exhale, twisting gently to our right. So left hand comes to that right leg, right hand comes behind you. Again, this shouldn't cause any stress in your body or your mind. Sit so nice and tall, exhale, a little more into the twist. You could look back over that right shoulder if that feels okay in your neck. to your mind. Just acknowledge them. No, let them go, almost like they were the clouds overhead, just moving with the breeze. So spend a few moments here. Just allow your breath to be natural. And clear your mind.
can stay here as long as you'd like. So when you're ready, bring your awareness back to your breath. Invite movement back into your body, wiggling your fingers and your toes. And then just slowly and gently hug your knees into your chest. Roll to one side. Use your top hand to press yourself back up to a seated position. We'll just take a breath together here before we complete our practice. Nice deep inhale, arms reach out and up overhead. And then exhale, hands through heart center. And thank you all so much for joining me today. Namaste. Thank you all very much. Again, my name is Joella. I have classes here on Monday, uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, yoga at 10 a.m., and then Fridays, total body conditioning at 5 p.m. So I hope you can catch another class soon. Thank you.